grips that you use. The momentum that you create when you pull guard, it, it should be circular. So it starts here, you come in here, you get your grips here, stand the grip, stand the grip here. That, I want to make sure he understands he's not going to take me down. You're walking him around, walking him around. At some point, my right foot goes to his hip, and I sit up to my left to pull him into the close guard, walking here, here, and I pull him into close guard right here. If you notice, my grips stay the same, okay? I'm breaking his posture. He postures up, and this elbow, pull here, and I control right here, okay? From here, I have a lot of good options. His option, he's got to posture up, okay? You gotta make it hard for them to posture up and you gotta get a high guard. You see how high my feet are? I'm not pinching my knees, I'm just engaging my hips, forcing him to carry my weight right here. So he starts posturing up and I'm carrying the weight and it's a lot of work because his arm's exposed over here. Because at any moment, as he's trying to posture up, you can turn and you have a straight arm bar with the Dracula V. All right. So if you notice, the grips were this standard grip. As he starts trying to pass, I pull. And what I'm doing is that I look at that line. Chest, hand. I need to go perpendicular to that line. If I pull him in here, I'm pulling him right into his base, okay? I'm going to move my head, and I'm going to open up his elbow as I pull him to this side. He's going to let go. And then I clamp right here. You can clamp. I guess your left hand thumbs down and it's a shoulder clamp. Sometimes it's good to do this right here. This makes it even tight. This is a little bit more loose. I want to lock it like this and I want to pull him in here. All right. And then I'm going to see how he is going to gain posture. Okay. Because it should be tough. Yeah. Because as, as he gets there, you have your straight arm bar. Yes, yeah. so For those of you competing, you're going to start here. Yeah, he wants to posture up. I pull him in here and hit. And I'm here. Okay? From here, I make it hard for him to posture. I know he's going to want to posture. Sometimes they even want to push the elbow off the head with the left hand because it's available. The left hand. And you're here. And your head comes up here, drag to it. If you want to start on the ground, just go back this way. It's the same grips. Your hand here, pulling down. Your hand, instead of getting the grips here, as we did when standing, you're going to cup this elbow and get this little bone right here on the inside of the elbow. And you pull them in. So as I'm pulling them in, I'm crunching. As I feel him beginning to try to pass or Yes, yeah, so right here, my head goes this way. I open up that elbow. As I pull, I'm gonna pull him to the right. He's gonna let go. And I'm here. You can even lock it, this right here. From here, you push out, and your head is moving up, up, up as I hinge here, and heads up. From here, Dracula, hinge. But before you do that, let's break some posture, okay? You're here. Right hand, just pulling, giving this hand a commit. And you'll feel how much commitment there is. But notice how I'm engaged and pulling him in too. Because maybe I'll break this posture this way. He'll have to reset. And then maybe I'll go this way here. Okay, I let him back up. And here, kind of pulling him this way here. He starts trying to engage. Okay, and I'm pulling perpendicular. And it's a really high guard right here. Okay. I let him back up, push up, my hands should be at the collar here, because okay, I need to be able to pull him down here, here, lift, head this way, and pull this way here. And now I'm nice and in good control right here, okay? If we do it from standing, here, here, around. And we're here, because I'm already on the side. For me to be able to stretch out his arm, okay, I need to frame his head right here. And I need to just kind of push him away just enough because here the problem he has is if my head is like the doing the side oblique or whatever it's called, he can't remove his arm. If my head is like this, 
he can have moved on. All it takes is engaging your core over here, and then you do the direct over here, okay? Because here, if he tries to remove his arm, I'm doing the telephone. Remember that thing we used to use, you know, with the and some, that circular thing, okay? And, and those of you who are not competing, you start on the ground, <clears throat> this hand here. And then I want you guys to punch and pull them in just a little bit. Once you feel them, utilize this, your hips come up, he's pushing, he's going to let you. I open this elbow up and I'm pulling him to the right. He'll let go with that right hand. And up here, and open up the chest. And then I'll let him back up. And then here, 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 here. Let him back up. Here. Here. All right, so we're gonna do, but you guys should start from standing to pull a nice guard because that guard is gonna save you a lot of energy instead of standing.